Hey guys, so i um, just going to put a quick video together um, about array sorting. So um, I'm just going to cover a few of PHP's sorting functions. Um, here I've set up an array mixed with strings and numbers as well. Just to show you the uh, quick difference, we're going to display how it looks before actually using the function use the function and then display the aftermath of that. So we have all of these um, we have all these elements within the array. First we're just going to do a sequential array then we're going to do an associative. Um, so once we run sort how PHP sorts the arrays is first the uh, the string values are sorted and then the integer values are sorted. So this is just a normal sort. It'll do it alphabetically, uh, a being the highest and or for strings and the integer is obviously one being the highest or zero if used. So. Yeah, that's my email. Okay. So as you can see here, this is what it looked like before. And then after the sort, it sorts all these values alphabetically. And since we haven't appointed a key, this is just a normal sequential array. Um, opposite of sort is our sort. So we'll see the exact opposite of what we just saw. So here you see the integers actually first counting down and the last alphabetically for strings. Now, actually, I'll show you this anyways uh, for sequential. We can do an A sort which is actually going to um, not preserve, sorry, it's going to preserve the actual, um, the index of, um, of the keys here. So see how these were reordered? Um, so, Da, 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 actually, so realistically, pasta um, should be two, sauerkraut should be three, cheeseburger should be four. We'll see that with the A sort. And so if we save this and run this, notice how it preserves the actual um, keys where before it just reordered everything and uh, took that away. And K sort, we're just going to get the exact um, before and after in this case because it's sorting by this value here. Okay, so now Let's actually use um, an associated array. And so now the country foods variable actually makes sense. So here we have countries, related foods, stereotypical foods. Um, so yeah, so we'll go over everything again so in this case sort as we mentioned so this is before the sort where the keys are and it actually gets rid of those values so it doesn't actually preserve any of the keys so when we run an a sort what we expect to see is we expect the elements to be in the exact same order, but the keys will actually be preserved.
Oh. So again, these these are ordered. These are preserved, but no in no particular order. Now, if we want to order the keys again, expect to see Albania followed by Canada followed in alphabetical order. We'll do our case order. Right. So now the keys. Oh, actually. There you go. So the um, so the keys are actually ordered. And again, with um, AR sort and KR sort, just does it in a reverse order. Um, so again, if you do AR sort, what we expect to see is our elements to be in reverse order. And KR sort, same idea. Keys are in reverse order now. Okay, so the next one we're going to touch on is actually usort, which is a actual user sort where the user defines their sort uh, method. So um, how this works is you pass in the string of um, a, a function that you've defined. So here I have defined custom sort. So what it's going to do is, um, from what I've seen, it just randomly compares all of these values. And then you can do a comparison. So in the case of a string, um, what it's going to do is, uh, so everything is less than, in terms of strings, everything is less than Z and everything is greater than A. So if, um, so for example, here, um, poutine or casserole is going to be less than poutine, casserole is going to be less than meatballs and sushi and cheeseburger, casserole is going to be less than those. Um, actually, okay, so let's run this. Okay, so. Actually, let's do, let's make this a little bit cleaner. Okay, so it does all these random compares for um, you know everything within the array. So the sort is just going to um, the normal u sort is just going to compare the element values, and again, not um, not have the keys. Uh, restored. So again, casserole. Um, so letters toward the beginning of the alphabet are less than letters toward the end, which is seen here. Meatball is less than, less than. So what we actually see here is when that condition is met, 
those are actually those values that meet those conditions are actually appended to the array last. So all of the conditions that are the most true in all of the cases are going to be at the end of the array. If we switch this condition, we'll see that letters toward the end of the alphabet are greater than letters toward the beginning, and that condition is met. So then after our sort, the conditions that are met are appended toward the end of the array. Okay, so again, if we do a UA sort, we'll see the exact same thing, except we're going to see these key values restored. And then a UK sort. is actually to compare the keys. So again, alphabetically comparing everything. So this is just, you know, this can easily be done. You don't have to define a user um, function for this because we already have our A sort and K sort, but this is just an example here um, of how you can compare you know, what the U sort is actually doing. Our variables in here are A and B, and it just takes two elements at a time and compares them, and then eventually uh, appends the, uh, the true comparison to the end of the array. So, um, yeah, just mess around with this as much as possible. Um, feel free to pause this video and copy this out, play around with it, ask me some questions. Uh, I'll be glad to uh, get back to you. Now we're just going to quickly go over, for those who are you know a little familiar with um, classes, uh, the U sort makes a little more sense in this case. So let's say I have a class player, so the player actually has a name, an age, and a sport. When we instantiate an object, I'm going to uh, give the player a name, an age, and a sport. And then we're going to be able to um, retrieve these values through a simple getter. Get a little lazy, didn't set the setters, but it's not necessary for this example. So what we'll do is we'll create an array of objects this time, which are you know, Anthony, Zach, Eric, Dan. So now we have an array of objects. So um, echo, yeah. Well, actually, let me just show you what's in there. That was sorting class. So we have an array of objects. So we have Anthony, we have Zach, we have Eric, and Dan. Now let's say we want to order those objects based on age. So we have a function named sort player where we're going to use u sort. And um, 
what I'm doing here again is just uh, what we did for the last example. We'll see what's going on during the sort for you sort, and then uh, which is greater. So this time we're actually comparing numbers for the age. So let's uh, let's run this guy. I'll uh, again. Um, if you guys want me to, you know, put the code anywhere, or you can just pause this video and uh, type it out yourself. That'll be uh, beneficial just to play around with it as well. Okay, so during our sort, randomly compares everything and everything that meets the condition of um, greater than. So what numbers are greater than another number that's being compared? So in this case, okay, so we're going to compare 25 to 19. Yeah, 25 is greater than 19. So this is going to be appended toward the end. 21 is greater than 19. That's going to be appended toward the end. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it figures out the actual order. And now we have objects in order of age. So we have 19, 21, 23, 25. Now, for example, if we want to do um, players by name as well, So now it's comparing all the names. Zach is greater than Anthony. Zach is greater than Eric. So Zach's going to be appended toward the end. So now we have Anthony, Dan, Eric, Zach. And we can also do sport as well. So again, randomly compares everything, matches everything, and then we have sport, cricket, hockey, soccer, track and field, which again is different from the original order. Okay, so I mean that can be, um, yeah, beneficial in many ways. Um, I'd like to think of a better application, but I can't off the top of my head right now. This is just fundamentals, guys. So um, hopefully uh, I construct this well enough for you guys to have a better understanding of how to use uh, sorting for procedural and also object-oriented programming. Um, if there's any issues, again, or concerns or questions, like I've mentioned a thousand times, please, uh, please let me know. Okay? Thanks, guys.